The most massive versions of Grandis, Comfort, are seven-seater, and the second row of their seats is designed for three people. More expensive sport modifications are much less common. They are six-seater and their middle row consists of two separate chairs with armrests. Hidden in the floor of the trunk is another third row, consisting of two seats. An important advantage of this minivan is that its third row is more convenient for adult passengers than many competitors. There is enough space in the second row even for tall passengers. At the same time, the traveling size of the grandest trunk, with the third row of seats unfolded, of 370 liters is one of the largest among competitors, but the maximum of 1,545 liters is small. For example, for Opel Zafira, B, this figure is 140-1820 liters, and for VW Chiron, 255-2610 liters. The design of the dashboard with the high protruding stump of the center console looks original. The plastic trim is firm but not squeaky. Of the equipment, only the air conditioning system can disturb. Second row seats are fixed and ride back and forth on a sled. The stock of legroom is such that you can sit in the second row with your legs crossed. Comfort on the road is enhanced by the presence of folding tables in the backs of the first row seats and a separate microclimate control unit for the gallery on the ceiling. Due to the active passenger orientation of the compact van, cars with worn, damaged interior trim are often found in the secondary market, and the plastic in the trunk can be scratched due to careless transportation of various goods, bicycles, etc. The most unusual detail of the grandest interior, which gives it originality, is the high protruding stump of the center console, where the music control unit, the climate in the cabin and the gear shift lever are located. Pleasing to the eye and instrument panel optitron. Due to the high seating position and the large glass area, the visibility of the car is good. Of the internal equipment, only the air conditioning system can disturb, up to 100,000 kilometers, a failure of the air conditioning compressor clutch was noted. In general, Grandis bodies are distinguished by good corrosion resistance, although they still have one weak point, this is the trunk lid. Due to the specific shape of the front bumper, it is rather low, and this part often suffers during operation. In body repair, this minivan is very expensive, there are practically no non-original spare parts for it, and there are few second-hand ones at disassembly. Therefore, it is difficult to find the necessary parts, and new branded ones cost decent money. Versions before and after restyling have some specific features that can cause trouble. So, on cars until 2008, the front wiper leashes were of the original design, which is why most wipers do not fit them. Later the leashes were replaced and the problem was fixed. There are also difficulties with roof rails. Grandis buyers have no choice, almost all cars sold are equipped with a single 2.4 liter gasoline engine. We rarely come across European versions of Grandis and cars from Belarus with a 2.0 liter turbo diesel unit from BW. The company service reported that they have no experience in operating solar units, but they do not refuse service to the owners of such cars. The 4G69 gasoline unit was also used on the first generation of the Mitsubishi Outlander crossover. It features proprietary MIVEC variable valve timing and valve lift, individual ignition coils and electronic throttle. These systems work without problems. The timing is equipped with a belt that changes along with the hydraulic tensioner, rollers and balancer shaft belt every 80,000 kilometers. One of the main comments of the owners to this unit is that it is very voracious, especially when paired with an automatic gearbox in the urban cycle, such a motor is capable of eating 14 to 15 liters per 100 kilometers. Therefore, in order to save money, many owners install gas equipment. As operating experience has shown, this engine works well on blue fuel. True, in this case it is necessary to significantly reduce the interval for adjusting the thermal clearances of the valves every 20 to 30,000 kilometers, otherwise, due to violation of the gaps, the efficiency of the MIVEC system decreases, which immediately affects the operation of the engine, traction is significantly reduced, and ultimately valves may burn out. But when using gasoline, the valves are regulated much less often, as a rule, after 80 to 100,000 kilometers. The 2.4-liter engine is very sensitive to fuel quality, due to low-quality gasoline, it can fail. The detonation that occurs in this case during a long drive leads to the destruction of the partition between the piston crown and the upper compression ring. Left fuel also leads to an increase in the temperature regime of the catalysts, in which its honeycombs are melted and destroyed, and their particles can get into the cylinders and also cause engine failure. With runs up to 100,000 kilometers, 
the muffler becomes unusable. There are no elastic corrugations in the exhaust system. Therefore, over time, due to vibrations, the partitions in the rear bank are destroyed. This is signaled by a characteristic ringing during operation and regassing. At 100 to 120,000 kilometers, the oil pan loses its tightness, requires replacement of the sealant, and at 150,000 kilometers, the rear crankshaft oil seal may leak. On versions after restyling in 2008, roof rails were installed on the roof, on which mass trunks are not installed, so you have to order more expensive ones, the original ones. Almost all Grandis are equipped with a single 2.4L petrol engine. Of the gearboxes, the most common adaptive automatic Invex 2. With the third row of seats installed, the trunk of the Grandis is small, only 370 liters. These seats can be hidden in the trunk floor, and if you raise the middle row seat cushions and move them closer to the front, we get a maximum cargo compartment of 1545 liters. Thanks to the deep floor and good legroom in the third row of the Grandis, adult passengers feel more comfortable than in other, slightly smaller competitor compact vans. Although with the height of 1.75 and above, there is not enough headroom. The backrests of all rows are adjustable in tilt angle, allowing you to take the most comfortable position on a long journey. Most Grandis are equipped with automatic transmissions, and manual versions average about 30% of the total number of minivans. As operating experience has shown, the rarer manual gearbox turned out to be less reliable, overly active drivers had a failure of the shaft bearings and differential. The automatic transmission of a minivan is an old generation unit, for speed, which, as we mentioned above, negatively affects fuel efficiency. At the same time, the automatic Invex 2 is completely trouble-free. It is equipped with an adaptive control program that adapts to the driving style of the driver and, depending on this, changes the moment of gear shifting. There is also a manual shift mode in the automatic transmission. According to the employees of the branded service station, it is recommended to change the lubricant in both units every 60,000 kilometers. Serviceable Grandis suspensions provide a large minivan with acceptable energy consumption and good composure, even with active driving, body rolls are quite modern. Another important advantage of the running gear, especially on our low-quality roads, is durability. The only remark is that with frequent maximum loads, the rear springs sag. The rear multi-link is considered eternal. The mechanics found it difficult to remember the cases of its repair even on cars with a mileage of about 200,000 kilometers. The same mileage on the shoulder and native shock absorbers. The front McPherson has to be serviced more often. The rear silent blocks of the front levers can withstand about 100,000 kilometers, and the front ones go for a very long time. The ball bearings pressed into the holder of the lever serve 150 to 180,000 kilometers and change as an assembly. Mechanics do not advise saving money by trying to handicraftly fix a separately purchased ball joint, as this negatively affects safety. Most often, only bushings of the front and rear stabilizer, 40 to 60,000 kilometers, and struts, 60 to 70,000 kilometers, have to be changed. The rack and pinion steering is equipped with a hydraulic booster, the pump of which turned out to be unreliable. It can lose tightness at 100 to 120,000 kilometers. With the same mileage, you need to change the steering rods. On cars until 2008, over time, the plastic cap of the front optics becomes very matted, reducing the quality of road lighting. The paint on the front wiper arms is not durable and will peel off over time. On pre-styling cars, rust may appear around the trim strip on the trunk lid. Later, its design was slightly changed and the bar no longer wiped the paint, provoking corrosion. 